they, they show him the new missile they've developed, and uh, but it has kind of a round, round head, and he says, uh, "You need to make it more pointy." To to, <laughs> to his engineers, <laughs> and uh, actually, that's what I also said the same thing. Um, you know, Starship, we need to make it more pointy. Did you say that? Mm -hmm. Because of the movie? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's, you literally told them to make the starship more pointy because of the movie The Dictator. Yep. Um, <laughs> they, and they know it, too. It's not like they, it's not like they haven't, they're unaware of it. <laughs> Everyone thought it would be funny if we made the rocket more pointy, so we did. Did it have any effect on the aerodynamics? No. Nothing? No, we can make it. Way blunter and be fine. But it was is it better to be pointier? Like if, if it wasn't for the it's movie, it's arguably slightly worse. But like, <laughs> <laughs> but more fun for you. Yeah, it looks cooler. Uh, well, okay, it does look cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long do you think it'll be before? Are you good, Jamie? <laughs> What's that? Uh, it's my my head's maybe. Yeah, exactly. You good. Yeah. How long? My head is sticking out. Of, is that where it's? Right on the edge of the top. Oh, is that supposed to be? Okay. You're good. All right. How long do you think it's going to be before you have, like, regular flights with that, where you can take off and land, and like an airplane, where it'll be very consistent? With our extra pointy rocket? Yeah, with your extra pointy rocket. Do you mean Earth-to-Earth -earth transport? Mm -hmm. Or, or well, to, just to orbit or anywhere? Of, yes, people. Yeah. Are, people. Anytime where you could just do it with people yeah. and have, them, have it land all the time. Um, I think it'll probably two years away. Two years away. Yeah. That's, that's, that's really nice. Two years is pretty cool. Two years for people. We'll, we'll, we'll have a lot of flights between now and then. That's crazy. That's yeah. 2023 is not that far away. That'll be there before you know it. Yeah. Wow. 2023. Time flies. How many times have you had explosions <laughs> with those When things? you're on a rocket. Um, I don't know, like uh, quite a few. Six, maybe <laughs> five or six. What are those like? What is it like when you watch it explode? When it's supposed to land... And it just. No, we, this, this is a test program. Right. We expect it to, to, to explode. Of course. So I, um, it, it's weird if it doesn't explode, frankly. Really? Uh, yeah. Because um, we're, you know, we're trying to develop advanced rockets uh, at, a high, at a high speed. And uh, if you want to get payload to orbit, uh, you, you have to run things close to the edge. And um, the whole rocket is evolving the engines, the structure, the avionics, the software. The ground systems are all evolving simultaneously, so and, and the whole production system, which is actually harder than the rocket design by far. So the the, mm. rock, the, the rocket and engine and avionics production system is and, and the and the launch system uh, is a thousand percent harder than the initial design, like at least. Really? Yeah. So when same with car, cars, it's like ten thousand percent. And it's easy to do a car prototype; it's hard to do production. Hmm. So. When you're looking at you're scaling towards the future and you're looking at mistakes or uh, corrections, improvements, and all these different things, that's how you come up with this figure of pr approximately two years. If current trends continue, uh, if, if we you know, if you, if you plot the points on the curve of progress, then, then we should be doing regular uh, orbital flights uh, with a high probability of uh, safe landing in two years so we're, when, we're getting to orbit this year our goal is to get to orbit this year mm. so and and i'm not sure people totally understand like it, starship is the the largest flying object ever made uh this thing will be about o over five thousand tons uh weight on liftoff it's going to go straight up five with five thousand tons Whoa. um this is much heavier than any aircraft by far there's no no, no aircraft even comes close to this uh this weight um, and it's going straight up. But aircraft can't go straight up, so it's like the it, it's got more than twice. It will have more than twice the thrust of a Saturn V. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's like a big rocket. Why does it need that much thrust? Are well, we trying? Because you want to go to Mars? Or is this yeah, like yeah, we're just we're, we're, we're trying to uh, make life multiplanetary? You know, uh, extend life beyond Earth. And in order to do that, you have to have high tonnage to Mars, and that means you need a big rocket, and you got to fly a lot. So the reason why it has twice the thrust of the Saturn V is to plan for these interstellar trips, uh, interplanetary, the interplanetary yeah. trips. So when you when you're doing this and you're 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 developing these systems, thinking about regular trips to other planets, but 
you're you're not you're not just trying to get into orbit right now. You're trying to get into orbit with something that eventually could scale up. Yeah, we know how to get to orbit. We've done that a lot. So the the really hard thing is we need to have a fully and rapidly reusable rocket where the where all elements of the rocket are reused and they're reused quickly like an aircraft. Um, and this has never been done. This is the holy grail of rocketry is is uh, to have a fully uh, reusable rocket. Then you need to go one step further. It needs to be fully and rapidly reusable. You know, it's like like a plane. Yeah, yeah. Like plane lands, you uh, you know refuel it and take off again. How do you have time? This I, I I never understand you in regards to the the way you run multiple businesses simultaneously. I would think that something like this would require so much concentration. It would require. I mean, yeah. You're, this would th I would think this would be your whole being. Trying to figure out how to work this. Um, yeah, well, I do work a lot. <laughs> I mean, um, it's, it's crazy. It's yeah. just, it's, and I apologize for being, for the reason I was late. As I was literally coming from from me, uh, you know, some critical meetings. Just doing. Normally, I'd be meeting until I work until like uh, one or two in the morning. Every night. Not. I mean, Saturday and Sunday, usually not, but sometimes. How much do you sleep? About six hours. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not that crazy. For you, that's, I mean, for someone who does as much as you, that's actually, that's impressive that you can squeeze that in. Yeah. I try, I've tried sleeping less, but then total uh, productivity decreases. Yeah. So you feel like six is the number where it's... Yeah, the... six, six, uh, six, or six is, I can, that, um, I, I don't find myself needing, wanting more sleep than six. So when... Like with the Saturn V and the space shuttles and all, all these other rockets, you, they would they would have these parts that would they would get the ship up into space, but they would descend down to Earth and crash into the ocean, yes. and they would never use them again. That's right. How do you avoid that? Like, what is the difference between the way this, these things are structured? Like, you, it, the the whole thing goes together. And then it lands together? <laughs> um, well, we're on the wrong planet for a single stage to orbit. Right. Um, I think one thing to appreciate is like space, getting to space is easy, getting to orbit is hard. So you only need maybe 1% or 2% of the energy to get to space, to where the atmosphere is thin, compared to what you need to get to orbit. And if you get to orbit, now you've got to burn off all that energy, and you're coming in like a meteor. So you need a powerful heat shield. So it's like... Super difficult to get to orbit at all, um, and then if you get to orbit at all, then making those the stages reusable means they got to come back intact. Uh, and then the the upper stage is especially difficult because it's got so much energy. All the energy you put into it, you have to take out. Um, so it's a uh, you know you're literally coming in like a flaming meteor, uh, and and most things would just melt and vapor melt or vaporize. So. Um, like if you as a human try to come in from orbit, you'd just be pink mist. Yeah. <laughs>